Well, good morning, everybody. It's Jeff Slicky here on Daybreak. I have a great guest in studio talking about a program coming up this weekend at the Mason County Historical Society. It's the director. It's Kristen February. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming on the air with me. Happy to be here. Stan Graham, the historical impact of the Spanish influenza presentation this week. What can you tell me about it? Well, Stan Graham used to be a researcher over at Mason County Historical Society. He used to be one of our staff members. And I think that this um, subject matter uh, is something that he kind of went on a rabbit hole, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> he saw some information present in our archives and uh, wanted to do some more research. So he's going to be giving a talk at 2 p.m. at the museum on, on Sunday, October 22nd, about the way the Spanish influenza uh, affected this area. So he's been in there pouring over records, and um, so it should be an interesting talk. Stan worked for the Forest Service for many years, uh -huh. and then... Um, He's also the editor of the uh, Genealogical Society's uh, newsletter here in Mason County. So he has a, a wealth of local historical knowledge. Interesting. Influenza and it is flu season around here. So kind of a timely conversation. Have you talked with Stan uh, about any of this? I've, I've never heard or would really even think uh, of any kind of far reaching impacts of the Spanish influenza here in the Northwest. He hasn't let me in on the full uh, extent of the talk, so I'll be interested to hear it as well. Although I know that he's been in the museum looking over records of, you know, people that were affected by the flu and um, trying to get as thorough of uh, a background as he possibly can of what happened at, at, during that time frame. So, so it's coming up uh, this weekend. It's on Sunday at 2. Uh, do we need to RSVP or anything? How much, What's the seating like? Uh, you do this? not. It's free and open to the public. Anybody has to just show up and, and walk in, and there'll be plenty of seats for everybody available. Got a lot of other things happening in the Historical Society that we'll continue to talk about. You know, you can find them online at masoncountyhistoricalsociety.org with some great pictures of uh, years gone by and uh, how our other things happening and working at the Historical Society. I know you've got the big annual meeting coming up. We'll talk about that in a little while in a veterans program, but uh, things going well over there? They're doing great. We just uh, received a grant to get um, our Past Perfect software, our museum software up to date. Uh -huh. We have a new computer that we're operating that on, so we're kind of uh, getting brought up to modern times <laughs> with our technology, which is fantastic. There's going to be new ways to access our archive, uh, we look forward to having uh, virtual displays online in the future. So um, our staff and our volunteers have been really busy working on that. Well, some of the photos that I see online are just uh, amazing. And then to put into context where they are in relation to where we all are now and pretty cool stuff uh, and seeing the history of the uh, Histo Historical Society Museum. For those folks who may not know or for some reason haven't been down there, uh, what's the address and what are your average or what are your times open for folks to come on in? Our address is 427 West Railroad. We're on the corner of 5th and Railroad downtown. Um, it's the really old building. It was built in 1914. Uh -huh. um, and then we're open Tuesday through Friday, 11 to 5 and 11 to 4 on Saturdays. Kristen Fabry, the director at the Mason County Historical Society, and again, Stan Graham, presenting the historical impact of the Spanish influenza. It's this Sunday at 2 p.m. Not going to want to miss this great talk on an interesting and uh, topical topic, I guess, now that we are kind of hitting flu season. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, thank you for having me.